Hi everyone, welcome back to Fragrance Finder. I'm your host, Frost Tanner. Today we're gonna to be going over Victor and Rolf Bon Bon. Let's get to it. This is an Eau de Parfum launched in the year 2014 and it's formulated by Cécile Meton and Sergei Majulier. As for the bottle, this is the 50 ml. It's a pretty iconic bow tie design. Always love the Victor and Rolf bottle designs. It's got a beefy atomizer up top, integrated, and it's got a pretty satisfying click. Now let's give it a spray. You can pause the video here for a full note breakdown. The main notes that I get from this fragrance are that caramel and peach right away in the opening. And then that jasmine comes in a little later on. And then on the dry down, the caramel carries over and you get a really nice, rich floral caramel kind of scent. This fragrance is very cozy, very warm and very rich. It's as if you had a pot of caramel right in front of you and then you had a basket of ripe peaches on one side and a bouquet of jasmine on the other. As for time and occasion, I see this as a fall winter fragrance. You can wear it day or night as a daily or going out fragrance. As for demographic, I see someone in their mid 20s to mid 40s wearing this. Now I'm gonna rate this fragrance in five different categories. Now some of it is feedback I've gotten from my girlfriend because she actually wears this, so the experience may be different for you. For longevity, Bon Bon gets a nine out of 10. You probably get about eight to nine hours out of it. For projection, this gets an eight out of 10. It's a beyond arm's reach kind of fragrance. You get a really rich, warm, cozy sillage. It's pretty inviting. It kind of has the same effect that Spice Bomb Extreme has on men. For my rating, I give this a nine out of 10. I really like the caramel opening and I love the soft dry down it has. For uniqueness, this gets a nine out of 10. I can definitely tell right away if someone's wearing this. She smells like angels ought to smell. For value, this gets a 7.5 out of 10. I've seen it for 170 Canadian dollars for the 90 ml bottle. It's not the best dollar to juice ratio at all, but the quality of the scent definitely makes up for it. Now, when we add up all the scores and average it out, Victor and Rolf Bon Bon gets an 8.5 out of 10. If you wanna see how Bon Bon compares to something like Chanel Chant Sautendra, we've done a direct comparison, as well as a bunch of other fragrance reviews, so check out the links down below. See you next time.